Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today we're reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars Assault on Geonosis Battle Pack. This battle pack was released in 2011, and it retailed for $19.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Included with this battle pack is an ARF Trooper, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and a Geonosian Warrior. Up first here is the ARF Trooper, which is painted in a desert camo with the 212th Attack Battalion's colors. On the back of the figure, you can see a yellow triangle on the back of his helmet, as well as some more desert camo with the light and dark browns. I've always liked the head sculpt on the ARF Troopers because it's what sets them aside from all the other clones. The visor is painted in a dark brown with a yellow triangle up on the top. There's also some silver and yellow secondary colors. Articulation includes a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrists, ball jointed waist, ball hinge hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. And the accessories for the ARF Trooper include a figure stand, a card, and a DC-17 blaster. Up next is Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is the same Obi-Wan that they used with the Freako Speeder Deluxe set a couple years back, except this time they now painted him with some weathering, especially browns and a little bit of black here and there. On the back of the figure, you can see some more weathering, and especially on his fabric comma, you can see the added weathering too, which is a really neat effect, and he even has a little peg hole on the back of his torso. The head sculpt on this Obi-Wan is fairly decent, except mine has a little bit of painting issues. There's a brown dot here and there, and also the eyes are a little bit off, but they also added in a little wound, which is a nice feature. And on his left shoulder plate, he has a Jedi Academy logo printed on. Articulation includes a ball-jointed head, ball-hinged shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball-hinged knees, and ball-hinged ankles. And the accessories for Obi-Wan include a figure stand, a card, and a lightsaber. And the final figure is the Geonosian Warrior, which is using the same Geonosian sculpt that they've been using for all the Clone Wars Geonosians so far, except in a new, nicer paint job. On the back of the figure, there's nothing really too special, but you can see some nice sculpting work on the wings, as well as the yellow translucent plastic that they used for them, and the painting details aren't really too bad either. The sculpting work on the head sculpt for this Geonosian Warrior was done very nice. It's a lot of good fine details, and how the eyes are slanted just barely open looks really cool. And just like the other Geonosians, you can remove the wings as well as the prongs to make him a drone. Articulation includes a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball jointed hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. And the accessories for the Geonosian warrior include a figure stand, a card, a Geonosian blaster, removable wings, and removable apparel. So for about $20, you get three repainted figures as well as a handful of accessories and a die. If you haven't got the Geonosian or a Camo ARF Trooper already, I highly recommend you pick up this pack. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.